Okay, so good afternoon. While waiting for the others, pwede na natin umpisahan. Okay, so our lesson for this afternoon is about audio and motion dimensions of information and media. So this is our advanced learning for the week 5 lesson. Our most essential learning competency is to describe the different dimensions of audio information and media, motion information and media. So this is our objectives. After going through this module, you are expected to identify types and formats of recorded sound and recording equipment explain principles of sound design explain concepts and principles of motion media and of course you are going to apply sound and motion media principles through an audiovisual presentation so let's play we have here the two pics and you are going to identify its two words so what do you think these pictures are trying to depict? Anyone? May we hear from Miss Tagakai? Is Miss Tagakai here? Ma'am. <laughs> so what will be the answer? I have here the two pictures. And let's try to guess what word these two pictures is trying to depict. Sound, mom. Sound. Sound. We have two words. Sound. Two words. What else? Ojo, mom. Ojo, sound. What else? Ojo play, daw po, mom. Ojo play. Any guess? Any other guess? What do you mean? Video and motion, ma'am. Ano? Audio and motion. Audio and motion is correct. Oh, correct. Nauli yan. Yan. Sino nakahula nun? Ako, ma'am. Okay, very good. Chan Angelo. Okay, so our discussion is about audio media. So audio media is correct. Yung sound din ay also correct because audio is also known as sound. So sound is an essential component of media. Your choice of sound and means of sound production can make or break the information you wish to convey. An audio media is a form of media communication that uses audio or voice recording as medium in the delivery of information. Ayan, yun ang audio media. So we have here the principles of sound. Previously, we have uh, discussed the different principles of text and visual ganon din sa audio media let's try to understand the different principles of an audio so we have here the frequency it determines the pitch of sound higher frequencies makes higher notes so it's um 
measurement is called hertz. Di ba sa radio naririnig natin ang mga gigahertz like that? So yun. It is composed of a frequency. And the second one is amplitude. This determines the volume or intensity of a sound wave. Its measurement is called decibel. Ayan. As you can see this picture, yung sound ay nagtatravel through radio waves. So, meron tayong frequency and amplitude as its principles. Mapapansin mo, yung wave dito ay medyo kalat. This depicts yung low frequency na tinatawag. Then, yung dikit-dikit naman na wave, yun naman yung mga high frequencies. Nakuha? And then, yung amplitude natin is yung ga um, gaano karami or yung volume or intensity niyong sound wave. So, yun yung tumutukoy sa amplitude. So, yun, binabanggit ko na frequency and amplitude, yun yung principles of a sound. Nako ha? Okay, question. Kung yung text at saka visual ay nasa save natin, as JPEG or nasa save natin as picture and document how about sound? MP3 po ma'am Okay, very good What else? MP4 ma'am <laughs> Ah, MP4? Okay, may sound din naman yung MP4. Ano? So, let's try to see the different audio devices. At pag sinabi natin audio devices, dito na i-store lahat yung sounds. Ayan, we have here yung old cassette tape. Nabutan nyo pa yan? the CD, the radio, etc. So, ito yung mga devices kung saan na i-store natin yung mga sound or audio. So, correct yung sagot niya kanina, MP3, ayan. We have here the different types of audio. Number one is music, second is sound effects, and the third is narration. So, sa music, alam naman natin na yan yung mga kinakanta ng mga singers. Yan yung naririnig natin sa YouTube or sa iTunes, etc. But the sound effect, we have here the samples of hard sound, poly sounds, background sound, or design sounds. sound effects, ito yung mga clips na kung saan nire-record ng mga recording artists or mga directors na nila nilalagay nila or ini-include nila sa kanilang mga pelikula. Ayan. Isa-isayin natin yung hard sound. May iba't ibang klase ng tunog ng pagsara ng pintuan. Tama? Meron yung madiin, meron yung biglaan, meron yung maririnig mo yung yung parang kalawang ng ng door. Ayan, try natin kung maririnig natin ito. Ay, hindi, mali. <laughs> Ding dong naman. Ito. Ne, asan na yun? 
Ayan. Narinig nyo ba? Oh, I'll meet mom. Ayan yung mangyay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yung medyo magulo, yung tinatawag na hard sound. Yung medyo mahaba, yun yung tinatawag na hard sound. Kasi maririnig mo pa yung parang crispiness nung sound. Pero yung isang tunog lang na diretso, Iba-ibang klase ng pagsasara ng door. Mga ganun. So, yun yung mga hard sound natin. Naririnig pa natin yung mga crispiness ng uh, excess sounds. Sa folly sound naman, ito yung nire-record natin yung mga kailangan nating i-include sa ating film. For example, kidlat, ay kulog, ayan. Pag kailangan natin ang sound ng kulog, hindi na natin kailangan mag-shooting sa setting na talagang umuulan at kumukulog at kumikidlat. Wherein, patutunogin na lang natin yung recorded folly sound natin. Then, saka natin ma-access yung sound or tunog ng kulog. Ayan. Another example of folly sound, they are mimicking the sounds. Example, ay yung tunog ng naglalakad na tao. Ayan. As you can see, meron silang props dito na gravel, snow, and dirt. Ayan. Nakalagay lang sa planggana then maglalakad na sila yung footstep pakikinggan nilang ma mabuti yan ire-record nila then pagkakailangan ni nila sa pelikula i-on lang nila yung sound na yon yun yung folly sound they are mimicking or recording ang sounds background sound Ito yung mga tumutunog na sound wherein pang background lang siya. Ayan. Next is narration ay design sound naman kalimitang ginagamit itong design sound sa presentation or yung sa animations natin kunwari yung pag galaw ng text gusto mo may mga wind chime ganyan yun yung design sound sound effects na pang text or any AVP presentations or audio visual audio visual presentation. Ayan, next is narration. We have here the fully voice reading, partially voice reading, unvoiced readings and multicast readings. Ayan, ito yung iba't ibang paraan ng pagbabasa. Meron yung parte-parte lang ng pagbabasa. Meron yung maramihan kayo nagbabasa. Ayan, yung sa anime. Ayan. Pag anime yung pinapanood mo or cartoons, 
binabasa lang nila yun yung narration. So, the different types of audio, we have music, sound effects, and narration. Yan. Any question? Wala? Okay. Now, let's move on to the different audio file formats. The different audio file formats are M4A, FLAC, MP3, MP4, WAV, WMA, and AAC. So, ito yung iba't ibang file format natin. Pag sinabing file format, dito nasa save yung mga audio. Or ito yung extension file name ng ating mga audio or sounds. Example, sa Microsoft Word, pag nag-type tayo ng text, masasave siya as .doc. Sa PowerPoint, masasave naman siya as .ppt. Ito naman yung mga audio. Masasave siya as .m4a, .flac, .mp3, .mp4, .wav. Ayan. So, yan yung iba't ibang file formats ng ating audio. Okay. First, we have the M4A. It means MPEG for audio. Sinesave nito yung mga bigger file formats ng audio. So, kahit gaano kalaking file ng audio, kaya niyang isave. Then, we have the FLAC, the Free lo Lossless Audio Codec. Ayan. Free Lossless Audio Codec. It means, smaller lang yung file na kaya niyang isave. Or, pwede yung mga clips lang. Audio clips. Ayan, maiikling sound. We also have MP3 or what we call the M MPEG Audio Layer 3. It produces a flawless quality of a sound. Pag sinabing flawless, syempre kung like for example tayo, nag-uusap tayo sa Google Meet, naririnig ko yung mga background nyo, yung mga tilaok ng manok, mga kahul ng aso, Dito naman, pag mp3 na audio type ng sound, malinis. Kaya siya tinawag na flawless quality. Hindi mo maririnig yung mga ibang tunog. Kundi yung nagsasalita lang. Then, we also have mp4. The mpeg audio layer 4. Ganon din siya, it produces flawless quality, pero hindi lang audio. Kasi pag sinabi mong MP4, it also holds video. Ayan. So, kapag gumawa ka ng kanta mo at sinib mo siya ng ah, ng music video mo at sinib mo siya ng mp3 hindi mo makikita yung itsura mo na kumakanta. Pag sinabing music video, kailangan mayroong visual. Dapat ang extension file format niyan ay mp4, hindi lang mp3. Nakuha? Yan. Next is what we call WAV or waveform audio file. 
dito naririnig natin yung strength of volume yung lakas ng sound kalimit ang ginagamit ng mga DJ sa mga party o sa mga malakihang event yung WAV file format next is WMA it is stands for Windows Media Audio so it is the most popular MP3 format gumagadan lang ito sa Microsoft Windows and then we have the last one the AAC or advanced audio coding this is the high quality sound used in gaming so yung mga sound na naririnig ninyo sa ML ninyo ayan AAC yun so ganun ka detalye kahit yung bulong maririnig sa AAC kasi high quality sound siya nakuha Any question? Ma'am, ano naman po ginagamit yan, ma'am, yung audio files format po? Audio file format, ito yung tawag dun sa mga paano nasa-save yung sound. Okay po, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Any other question? none okay now let's move on to some tips for low cost sound designing ayan so bigyan ko kayo ng konting tips lang paano mag design ng sound number one never underestimate the power of natural sound syempre mas maganda pa rin yung natural sound for example kailangan mo ng Uh, tunog ng iyak ng isang baby ire-record mo yung talagang iyak ng baby hindi yung artificial sound lang na matanda ginagaya yung boses ng baby umiiyak pero not necessary na naman kukurutin mo yung pamangkin mo para lang may ma-record ka na sound ayan then number two Create your own sound bank. Siyempre, create your sound bank. I-save mo na lahat yung kakailanganin mong sound effects para mas madali na lang sa'yo later on ang mag-insert ng mga sound clips. Number three, go for original music. Otherwise, search for royalty free music ayan you can also use mixkit.co mixkit.co ay yung website na kung saan nagbibigay siya ng mga free sound effects so i-download mo na lang siya yan yung mga ginagamit ng mga vloggers para may ma-insert silang mga sound clips sa kanilang mga vlogs. Then, number three, ay number four, ayan, eliminate unnecessary noise as much as possible. Ayan. Siyempre, di ba, kahit sa Google Meet nga lang natin, nai-istorbo tayo kapag magulo yung background, yung sounds sa background hindi nyo ako naintindihan right so kailangan talaga ini-eliminate yung unnecessary noise para mas maganda yung quality ng sound or yung dating ng sound 
information or audio information Ayan. next number five be careful with your voice recordings Ayan, syempre Be careful with our voice recordings Ayan, As you can see, pag hinihingal akong magsalita, nag-i-stop akong nagsasalita, di ba? Nangakaya naman kung naririnig nyo yung hingal ko Ayan Then, last is balance layers of sound sa balance layers of sound ayan dito napapasok yung pagtitimpla natin ng sound kung kailan lalakas or hihina yung isang bagay ayan those are some tips on designing a sound para saan yung design of sounds syempre malay mo later on may mga plano kayong maging vloggers or maging uh, newscasters, kaskada singers, Ayan. or ang tawag doon, yung mga may trabaho na may kinalaman sa audio. Audio masters, ayan. So, alam nyo na kung paano magtimpla ng mga tunog then any question regarding our audio information and media may tanong Walang tanong. Naturo kayo sa metin. Yan. Since audio and media eh, Ano yan? Audio and motion information media ang topic natin. L now let's move on to motion media. Yung audio, it talks about sounds ang motion media naman is a visual media that gives the appearance of movements. It can be a collection of graphics, footage, videos. It is combined with audio, text, and other interactive content to create multimedia. So, let's try to Think of our pre previous lessons. Pinag-aralan natin ang text, ang visual, ang sound or audio, and now yung motion or yung galaw. Ayan. Pag pinagsama-sama mo yung mga yan, ang tawag sa kanya ay multimedia. Nako ha? Ito. Pag sinabing multimedia, anong napro-produce natin? Anong output ang napro-produce natin? Anyone? Parang video, ma'am. Video is correct. May tunog na, may gumagalaw pa, at the same time, my text. Yung iba may mga subtitle, di ba? May visual pa. Ayan. So, we have here the purposes of movement in a video. Movement. It is called motion. Ayan. Creating dynamic scenes, influencing audiences, emotional reactions, Directing audiences' attentions or controlling reveals. Di ba mas masaya manu manood ng pelikula 
kapag may movement. Yes, ma'am. So, you can see this drawing. Ayan. Naalala niyo yung patalastas sa TV noon na Bonakid yata yun or Promil nagdrawing yung bata ng butterfly na napakarami dun sa isang pages ng libro. So, nung pinakita niya yung drawing niya, parang gumagalaw yung butterfly. Parang lumilipad. So, ganun din yung sa drawing dito na nakikita nyo ngayon. Yung picture na yan. So, parang tumatalon siya. Diba? So, mas magandang manood kapag ang pinapanood nating video ay mayroong movements. It directs audience's attention. Boring kapag walang movement. Ayan. Let's try to see the different basic camera movements. Na kahit naka-steady lang, napapagalaw nila yung mga tao. Yung mga effects ng camera. Ayan. We have here the dolly. Or yung tinatawag natin na dolly in, dolly out. Or yung mag-step towards ka and mag-step backwards. Anong mangyayari sa picture or sa visual kapag tayo ay nag-step out? Ay, step towards or step backwards habang hawak-hawak yung camera. What will happen to the image? Anyone? So, parang mag-zoom in siya. Okay, so parang mag-zoom in siya. Tama. Ipapakita natin yung difference ng zoom in and out sa dali in and dali out mamaya. So, as you can see yung number one dito, ayan, ganyan yung pwesto ng camera. Aatras, aabante. Then, number two, we have the pedestal. Moving the camera up or down. Ayan. Anong mangyayari kapag in-up and down natin yung camera? Ma'am, if pag full body yung uh, binibidyo, parang mapupunta siya sa hukulo. Parang? Mapupunta siya sa part ng ulo ko. Yung baratatas yung part. Sa, para sa screen ng camera ay sarang part. Magiging natin pataas. Correct. So, parang tatangkad at parang liliit yung yung ang tawag doon? Kar character ma'am. You know, oh nasa, yes, yung character. Yun yung pedestal natin. Moving the camera up or down. Next is truck. Truck is like dallying. Pero ito ay pa left and pa right. Ayan. Yung number 3 image natin. Pa left and pa right yung ating camera. And then, we have the pan. One side or another. Yung number four naman natin. Yung pan naman is or yung panning. Dito natin malalaman yung mga element na hindi kasali doon sa frame is makukuha na natin. For example, kapag naka-telescope tayo na may lumilipad na ibon, diba? parang hinahagilap natin yung ibon, parang hinuhuli natin kung nasaan siya, 
yun yung panning yung bigla mo na lang ihahapyaw yung camera pa pa side or from one side or another then number five we have tilt it adds an element of surprise Ayan, sa tilt naman, it adds an element of surprise. <laughs> Hindi kagaya nung pedestal natin na imumove natin ng from up pababa, dahan-dahan. Yung tilt naman is pwedeng biglaan. From up, going to down, magugulat ka na lang, makukuhanan mo na yung langgam sa sahig. Ayan, yun yung tilting yung biglang may element na lilitaw parang sa paning Ayan. then we have the roll moving the camera onto its side Ayan. parang rainbow siya Ayan. moving the camera onto its side then we have the zoom zoom in and zoom out ang difference lang ng zoom in, zoom out sa dali in, dali out is that habang hawak-hawak mo yung camera hindi mo na kailangang mag move closer or mag move farther kundi yung camera mismo ang gagalawin mo Meron dyan sign na minus sign tsaka plus sign for zooming in and zooming out. Unlike sa dali in and dali out, hawak-hawak mo yung camera habang nilalakihan mo yung image. Umaatras ka habang gusto mong liitan yung image. Sa zoom in, zoom out, may button lang sa camera wherein pipindutin mo yung zoom in, zoom out para mapalaki or mapaliit yung isang element. Then, number eight, following shot. Follows the subject's action. For example, ay yung subject mo or yung artista mo ay sumakay ng tren. Paano mo siya kukuhanan? Sakay rin ng tren mo. Correct. Sasakay ka din ng tren. O di kaya, meron yung mga upuan ng mga cameraman na may parang may ladder sa sahig. Wherein, lalagyan mo na lang ng gulong para parang umaandar ka na rin kapag umandar yung vehicle. Or sinusundan mo yung subject. Nako ha? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Siyempre kung nagsiswimming yung subject mo kailangan mo ding maglublub sa dagat. Ayan. So these are the basic camera movements. Diba kahit yung simpleng gusto mong pumayat kahit mataba ka pagka sa anggulo lang kukunin mo sa camera is sumiseksi ka ng tignan. Nakuha? Ayan. Nasa camera movements lang yan. Any question? None, ma'am. None? Okay. So, sa so week 5, this is the activity you're going to submit. Yung assessment. Ayan. Ayan. We're in. It talks about the different camera movements or yung mga element ng sound ayan so ilalagay nyo lang dito yung answers nyo nakuha nakuha mga kapatid yes ma'am yes ma'am okay if ever yes ma'am makaturturo kayo saan if ever 
na hindi kayo makaka-attend ng Google Meet natin sa Monday, I will also discuss our performance task. Advanced discussion makes your output more uh, tawag dito mas ma-prepare tayo, di ba? Mas mapapaganda natin. So, ito yung performance task natin for week 6 wherein kasama na rin yung objective ng ating week 5. Nakuha? Inaswan ko na para hindi na kayo paulit-ulit gagawa ng activities or ng performance task. So, yung yung ating gagawin kanina sa MELKS nakalagay dyan is apply sound and motion media principles through an audiovisual presentation. So, nag-add ako ng text and visual for you to be able to complete the performance task. So, you may also add text and visual to make a promotional video sample. You can use your performance task number one as props. So, ito yung mga applications na pwede ninyo gamitin para makakaproduce kayo ng isang video. Anyway, ang mga apps na ito ay drag and drop. Madali lang siyang matutunan. Unlike kapag yung cellphone nyo lang at yung simpleng video lang, walang mga effects, di ba? Hindi nyo din malalagyan ng text. Itong mga applications na ito, sila yung tutulong para mapaganda yung inyong output. We can use TikTok, KineMaster, or CapCut. Or kahit anong mga video editing tools na alam ninyo. Ayan, for our rubrics, of course, we have here 100 points po lahat yung performance task na ito. So, for the complete media, nandun ang inclusion ng sound, ng motion, ng audio or visual, text and visual, nandun lahat. So, complete is 100 points. Kapag may missing na isang media, dun sa mga pinag-aaralan natin from the free views, 98 points na lang siya. For example, hindi mo nalagyan ng text. 98 points. 96 points naman kapag kulang ng dalawang media. Kunwari, walang sound. Movement lang. Picture lang. Text lang. Or wala ding text. Mga picture lang, ganyan. So, 96 points lang siya. Miss 2 media. 94 kapag miss 3 media. And 92 kapag did not meet qualifications but submitted on time. Ang aga mong nag-submit. Diba? Pang week, week 6 ito actually, ang aga-aga mong nag-submit pero kulang pala. Hindi mo na meet yung standard. Kasi hindi ka rin gumamit ng, ng props. Hindi mo rin sinunod yung video na sinasabi na promotional. Pag sinabing promotional, may promote kang isang object. Ayan, e eh, kumporme na video lang yung binigay mo. Pero, ikaw ang first owner na nag-submit. Ayan, 92 points lang siya. Then, 90 points naman kapag did not meet qualification tapos late submission. Afo, tuwang-tuwa na sila kapag hindi na sila nag-comply. Iba naman yung 0 sa 90 points. Nakuha?
Siyempre kung hindi kayo nag-comply, hindi kayo nagbigay, wala akong may record So, ito po yung rubrics natin. Nakuha? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, may tatlo lang ako. Ah, oh, sige. Ma'am, paano po yung sa dun po sa gamitin na ano, ma'am, dun sa video is wala po. Nasira, parang ganun, ma'am. Yung props. Ah, you po ulit, ma'am. also ma use other object. For example, kahit anong object na available sa bahay nyo. For example, ito. O, paano mo siya ipropromote? Kasi nakalagay sa module natin, gagawa kayo ng promotional video. O di kaya ang promote ninyo ay yung school nyo. Pwede naman. Yan, magsulat ka ng ISAT sa papel. Then, promote mo yung isa't. Yan, magsalisalita ka, ganyan, etc. Sabihin mo yung mga courses offered. Ano pa ba? So, ganun magpro-promote ka ng isang bagay. Kasi hindi na yung miniature, ma'am? Eh, ang tanong nyo kanina is yung kapag walang props, nasira. Yes, ma'am. So, yun lang yung alternative dun. Pwede kang gumamit ng ibang object or pwede kang magsulat ng kung walang available object sa inyo magsulat ka ng ano sa papel then pinapakita mo na lang sa camera ay mabalin ti bilog ano ang bilog? <laughs> madimit ah ay, 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 ay. <laughs> madimit ang bilog uh, ano pa Ma'am, kahit din na kami magpakita sa video, basta i-prom na lang namin yung call. Eh, ano ah? Awas points daw yun, kunya. Dapat natin, oh, na-touch natin yung lesson. Dapat may movement. ba? May motion. May sound. May text. May tingin-tingin, ma'am. Dar-dar-chim na kayo. Bo, kasi the motion na yun. Nung nagtambi-tambling ka dyan video, ay talaga nakadado motion na dyan yun. sa video ma'am eh pwedeng kumuha ng parang ano ma'am bibili gano'n paano anak 